from coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. on Praise the Lord from the vacation capital of the world, exciting Central Florida, as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teachings and music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. to praise the Lord. We are so glad that you joined us today right here on your TBN, the number one Christian network in the world. Now, every now and again, God decides just to do something special, to move in a special and sovereign way. And he's going to touch your life in an incredible way, especially in regards to physical healing. Now, our guest today is a man of God, tried, tested, and true, walking under an authentic anointing for physical healing. Now, I've had the honor and privilege of preaching at his great church, Bridge of Faith Ministries International, there in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Thousands of people coming every week. And I've witnessed firsthand the doctor documented the bona fide, legitimate miracles that are taking place under this man's ministry. And God uses him strongly in the word of knowledge where he calls out specific sicknesses and issues that people are dealing with. And I believe God is going to use him in that way today. I'm going to release him here in just a few minutes to flow in that gift and to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I'm so glad to have my buddy, my dear friend, Bishop Larry Harris here with me. And look, if you need a healing in your body, you better get yourself ready because healing is on its way. You got to call somebody right now, text them, email them, however you get in touch with one another. If you have a family member a friend, someone that's near and dear to you, and they need physical healing. You ought to get in touch with them right away. Tell them to go to TBN, join the Praise the Lord program because Jesus is about to release healing into your life. Now, before we get into this powerful time of ministry, I want to take a moment just to say how much I love and honor Matt and Lori, Miss Jan Crouch. You know, the thing that I love most about them is their heart. They have a heart for Jesus, a heart for souls, a heart for the world. And as always, I encourage you to continue to pray for Matt and Lori, pray for Miss Jan. And I also want to encourage you to continue to support the worldwide ministry of TBN, not only through your prayers, but through your finances. And I know God will bless you in return. And together, we're going to continue to take this glorious gospel of Jesus to the four corners of our world. Now, I want you to open up your heart. Lift your hands with me if you would. And let's ask God to anoint these next few moments we spend together. Father, today, every person watching, no matter their age, their color, no matter their location, their placement and position in life, we are your children. And today, God, we place ourselves afresh and anew in your hands. And Jesus, I ask today for every person that's watching that needs healing in their body, won't you stretch forth your hand, even begin to do it now and release healing from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I prophetically declare today, healing is on the way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, we're going to continue to prepare the atmosphere of our hearts for what God is going to do as we sing Him, as we praise Him, and worship Him. Father, touch your people. Let them heal the tangible power of your healing in their lives today. In Jesus' name, amen. is a 
flowing down from the throne of God to touch your life right where you're at. So right now, just enter in. Enter. Well, the presence of Jesus is in this place, and I've been telling you all throughout the beginning of this program, 
healing is on its way. As a matter of fact, I'd like to change that and say healing is here. If you're suffering from an infirmity today, a physical problem in your body, I believe with all my heart that the hand of Jesus is about to touch your life and this is going to be your day for your miracle. Our guest who's here with us today, not only is he a precious, precious friend of mine, he is an anointed man of God. And a lot of people say they're anointed to do a thing, but the proof is in the pudding, as the old saying goes. This man of God has multiplied hundreds of testimonies of people who've been supernaturally healed from things that only doctors can verify. And I want you to open up your heart and give God permission to use this servant of the Lord today to minister healing to you as well as those in your family that need healing. Would you welcome him with me, my friend Bishop Larry Harris. Amen. Bless you, man of God. God bless you too, man of God. I'm so glad we get to hang out. I agree with that 100%. You know, I was just with you a few weeks ago and you're right outside of Hershey, Pennsylvania. For those that don't know, they make some good chocolate there. Yes, sir. In Hershey, Pennsylvania. I loved it. You sent chocolate candy bars to my room. I thought this is better than any honorarium I could ever get. But I just appreciate your spirit, your heart, your kindness. You're a humble man of God, but one that God has used in an incredible way. Yes, sir. And it's an honor for me to introduce you to the TBN family, the TBN world. Thank you. I want you to take a minute and just talk to us about some of the miracles that you have been seeing through your ministry there. Yes, sir. I'm going to talk about the miracles, but let me first tell the body of Christ this piece right here. Even though I have miracles and I've raised 15 people from the dead, blind eyes have come open, deaf ears have come open, and the lame are walking, HIV is gone. Yeah. I don't think that I'm nothing because the men of God that wrote that Bible all those years ago, they had so much knowledge and so much anointing. <laughs> there are some things that they've saw that I want to see. I've never seen God on the throne and Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father. Right, right. The 24 elders, I've never seen the four living creatures and our white raiment. So as I looked at God, I said, oh my God, they didn't have the iPhones and galaxies and notepads and <laughs> Apple computers, but they were so powerful. So I want everybody to understand, you got to read that word. You got to study to show yourself approved. A workman yeah. need not be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Yeah. But as I talk about the miracles, there was a woman in my ministry. She was 76 years old, sir. And it's a blessing to be here with you. He was preaching so awesome in my ministry that it blows my mind. <laughs> I'm bringing him back again. I'm on my way. <laughs> you got you. candy bars, man. I'm on my way. <laughs> yes, sir. And she, it was a lady just holding her and she was screaming so loud, sir. And it, it was almost like we felt that somebody was in the church running after her with guns, the way she was screaming. Then all of a sudden I had to stop preaching. It was the 12th of March, 2012. And the lady was 76 years old. And by the time my wife walked over there, Prophetess Harris, Sheila, and the elders walked over there and my nurses in the ministry, they checked her pulse, they checked her heartbeat, they checked everything about her. She released every body fluid she had, sir, and she had cancer and she died in the church. Wow. And they rolled up to me and told me that she was dead. And I in said, the middle of your service. Yes, sir, in the middle Great of my news, service. Great right? <laughs> Yes, sir. And I told him the devil is a lie. You ain't died up in here. Mm. And I went out there and I laid hands on her. The power got healed. I began to speak with other tongues. And as I spoke with other tongues, she lifted up her right Jesus. hand up in the air, arm in the air, and opened her eyes. And when the paramedics came and they was checking her out, they was looking at her and they was there for an hour. And they was looking at this, they was looking at that. And they told me, they said, We've never seen this before in our life. I said, what are you saying? They said, all of these body fluids is down here, and everybody that released their body fluids, they're dead. I said, she was dead, but God brought her back to life. Thank you, Jesus. And the only thing I could do is give God praise, glory, and honor for yeah. doing that because I didn't want nobody to think that people was going to die in my church. Right, yes, sir. right. <laughs> and then i give you another story, sir. We was at the hospital at Hershey Lodge, um, and uh, basically there was a woman. Her mother came to our church twice, and she told me that her daughter had HIV. Mm -hmm. And when we got to the hospital, I didn't realize it was that bad. The doctors gave her four days to live. Her eyes was rolled all the way back, and the only thing you could see was the white in her eyes. And she could not even speak. And when I began to pray over her, all of a sudden, she, she opened her eyes, and they turned back around, and she told her mother, thank you, Mom. And the mother looked at me and started crying. I said, why are you crying? She said, uh, Bishop, she's not spoken in six months. Wow. And the doctors gave wow. her four days to live. And God healed her so strong that four days later, they let her out of the hospital, and she's still living. That was three years ago, and she does not have HIV anymore. I love it. And all that we can do is give God the praise, the glory, and honor, sir. And before you share just one more, think, think of one more to share with us. But yes, I, I have to add this. When I went to minister for you, yes, sir. And you, you hear people all the time, we have a healing ministry, we've seen miracles. Blah, blah. Okay. When I came to stand up in your pulpit, before you introduced me, yes, sir. you pulled like four or five people up out of the congregation 
that were healed months ago, years ago. And it was such a blessing for me to see people who were healed. Yes, sir. Still healed yes, and sir. in the house of God. It's amazing how you have a group of people like you have. You got to share though one more testimony. You're building my faith. You're building the faith of the people that are watching. Give us one more. Well, the other testimony is so powerful. It's in Chicago and also in Africa. Uh, thousands of people was in the service. And uh, in Africa, the, the apostle has showed my videos of miracles and healings. And I called one person down on the altar before I preached. And I laid hands on him and he could walk, put the cane down. And everybody started hitting the altar. I said, I can't pray for you right now. You got to wait till after I preach. Mm -hmm. And bigger than day, over 400 people showed up on that altar. <laughs> they, was, they had cancer. They had heart <clears throat> attacks. They had stroke. This is before you preached. That was, yes, sir. That was, yeah, that was right after I preached, though. Okay. But I, showed, uh, I told him, I prayed for the guy first. And then they came down after I preached. And all of them in wheelchairs, blind eyes, deaf ears, every last one of them got healed. Over 400 people Jesus. in one service, sir. Jesus. Within a, just a, about an hour and a half, two hours. You know, I, I, I yes, sense sir. prophetically, and I've talked to you about this because you know I love healing and, yes, and love praying for the sick. I, I heard excerpts and, and writings from people like Catherine Kuhlman. Yes, sir. Heard Dr. Oral Roberts say it and, and other great men and women of God that the day is coming when all in the body will be healed. Yes, sir. When we have those services where every person in the service will be healed. I saw that happen in yes, Youngstown, Ohio, 15 some years ago. Um, probably about 100 people only that were at the altar, but every one of them yes, testified of God healing them. Yes, sir. Prophetically, what are you picking up in your spirit that is coming to the body of Christ and the move of healing? Prophetically, what I'm picking up is that it's going to be so many men of God that are going to become so strong in God that are pastors, that are apostles, that are bishops around the world. And they're going to be ministering the word of God so strong and the power of God is going to hit them so strong that many people are going to be healed. And it's just like the men of God said in the days of old, that everybody that hit that altar is going to get healed. <laughs> and it's going to be the same spirit that was on Jesus. Right. That Christ of Nazareth, that when they showed up, every last one of them got healed. So when I thought about the woman with the issue of blood, at, when I was young, I used to think it was just the woman with the issue of blood that he prayed for. Mm -hmm. But he prayed for so many people right after that, that every last one of them got healed right. in Jesus' name. And God ain't no joke with miracles and signs and wonders. <laughs> and I, only thing I could do is give God praise, glory, and honor because I'm ready to yeah. be in heaven. And he said, I, he said, eyes have not seen, Ears have not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those that love him. And when we love God and we love our neighbor so much like we love ourselves, mm -hmm. God just began to open so many doors for prosperity, for wealth, right. for healings, mm -hmm. for miracles, for, for just everything that we do that the body of Christ got to realize that the more we praise him, the more we worship him, mm -hmm. the more he commands the earth to yield increase, sir. And we know that you have a powerful television ministry and media ministry that, that's really global. Yes, sir. But you don't get to see just on television sometimes the heart and the fullness of the man or the woman of God. And when I came to your church, yes, sir. the thing that just stood out to me above everything is your love for the people. Yes, sir. And you really do care about not only the, the folks in your church, but those that are watching, those that have come. Yes, sir. And, and love. Yes, sir. If we look at the Gospels. It's the motivation for all miracles. I agree with that 100%, sir. I have 10 church vans that we pick people up with, sir. And I pay over $2,000 a month in gas for the, for, for, to pick them up and don't charge them a dime. Also, I have bailed so many people out of prison yeah, because yeah. I didn't want them to die. I didn't want them to be in prison and lose their, their children, their wives, their, their relatives. And so when we begin to bless people mm -hmm. more than we bless ourselves, and I bless my wife more than I bless myself all the time. <laughs> and I know you bless your I, wife I'm, all I'm the time. All, I'm guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. The, the more we bless our wives, our children, and people around us, the more God blesses us also. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I can do, sir, is give God praise, glory, and honor because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if it had not been for God in my life and Jesus in my life, it's only by him that I live. Mm. It's only by God that I move, and it's only by him that I have my being. And I can't take no credit for nothing that God does in my life, mm -hmm. and all I do is give God glory, praise, and honor, and I thank God for Benny Hinn because he does that all the time. And I thank God for uh, 
the, the woman that that's in charge of this beautiful, awesome, Isn't wonderful it beautiful, it TBN. Is. Yes, ma'am. She is so awesome. I love her. I've been watching her for years on TV, and I'm so glad that she's still around. <laughs> Me too. And, you know, strong as ever. Nobody on this staff can keep up with Miss Jan Crouch. That's right. She's making them all run until their legs get worn out. But we thank God for um, her and, and Dr. Paul's vision. You know, TBN is one of those networks where... You can go all out for Jesus. Yes, sir. They don't want you to sit on anything. They don't want you to hide anything. They're, they're full Holy Ghost, full Jesus, and giving us the opportunity to even talk about miracles today. Yes, sir. There's so many networks that don't want you to do that, but TBN's giving us that wonderful opportunity. And I know there's an incredible anointing that, that's not always, I mean, it's always on you. It's resident on you, but I, I feel that anointing being stirred today. Yes, sir. What's God doing right now? What God is doing right now is that he's going to move through that television broadcast that I'm on right now. And people that are sick in their body with blind eyes, with deaf ears, that's in wheelchairs, like it was with the television broadcast I do already, get out of the wheelchair and all of a sudden they start walking. And they begin to call me and say, Bishop, you prayed for me yeah. on TV. And all of a sudden, I had not walked in, in six years. Now I was running around my house. And I've seen these people in your church. Only by God's grace. I've seen crazy. them, yeah. <laughs> I, they, they're there. Yes, sir. So a lot of people are going to get healed today, sir, because of what God is doing. And as we look at God and we look at Jesus, I want the body of Christ to know that as we go to heaven, he's going to write a new name. Jesus said he's going to write his new name on our bodies. Mm -hmm. And he's going to put God's name on our bodies and the new city name on our bodies, the new Jerusalem name on our body. And that's one of the things I prayed that God would do, not just for me, but for everybody around the nations, every country, every state, Amen. every community, every neighborhood, every town, every borough. Amen. Yes, and you know, one of the things that's so refreshing because iron sharpens iron. That's right. So, so we as men sharpen each other. Yes, sir. And you have such a tenacity. And, and I don't know how to describe it. it. It's a faith that just, there's no other option, but God's going to heal. It's no issue yes, for you. It's, it's, it's a casual thing. Yes, sir. Not, not diminishing the power of it, but it's a casual thing. And that faith is stirring in you today. Yes, sir. Who's watching that needs a miracle? And who's God touching right now? I want you to look in that camera and just flow in that word of knowledge. Well, the, the, the main people I see watching right now is so many of you all out there with cancers flowing through your whole body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And you feel like you can't hardly walk, you can't hardly talk, you can't hardly move, you can't breathe. But God told me to tell you right now that as you sow your seed in the TBN like never before also, and as you give mm -hmm. to God like you've never given before because some people are hurting their body because they're not giving their tithes and offerings. Uh. And God walked away from them. Mm. And God told me to let you know to start giving your tithes and offerings like never before and bless him like never before. I'm not talking about my church, but I'm talking about the church that you belong to yeah. so that God can bring you up out of the wheelchairs, the blind eyes, the deaf ears. And I command every spirit that's not like God to come out of everybody out there. I command people with HIV. The HIV yeah. is gone. The AIDS is gone. The heart attacks, the strokes, the emphysema, the blindness, and the ones that cannot raise your hand. I uh. dare you lift your hand up right now and give God praise and watch God bless you so much Jesus. that it blows your mind because God is a God that can do anything itself feel and when you trust God and you believe in God receive the Lord your God so shall you uh, be established believe, believe in his prophet and you shall prosper and I thank God for everybody out there watching this broadcast today so that God can bless you so much that it blows your mind not just physically mm -hmm. but in prosperity also with those new build businesses you have amen and you know I've seen God do that yes, seek sir. first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and these things will be added to you yes sir and because you've loved people you've reached out God has blessed you immensely he's blessed your church and for every one of you that are watching today the anointing is a transferable commodity. You don't have to be in the same room. You don't have to be touched physically. That's right. The hand of God is not limited. It is not short. Prayer knows no distance. And as Bishop Harris was declaring over you today, healing. For those of you that do have cancer, for those of you that are having, I felt that when you were talking about that arm. Somebody's arm has just been healed. Yes, and sir. And of course, we here at TBN, we want to know about it. We want to hear. There's a number on the screen. Call us and testify of that miracle. And just step out in faith, as Bishop was saying. you got to lift that hand. 
you got to make a decision. I'm going to get out of that wheelchair. Miracles are happening, and we want to know the testimony of that miracle. If you would, I want you for 15 seconds to look into your camera one more time and yes, declare supernatural breakthrough. That's what I feel in my spirit. I agree. I declare a supernatural breakthrough in your Jesus. life so much that the men, watch this man, please listen to me, that you're going to make so money, so much money that your wife is not going to have to pay for nothing because she's going to be able to keep her whole check and you're going to be so blessed that it blows the nation's mind and it blows your relatives' mind and the friends around your mind. And I command everybody around the whole nations to get blessed because as you walk down the street the blessing will overshadow you and God ain't no joke he's gonna bless everybody <laughs> like never before in Jesus name I pray amen and thank he God. He is and I receive it. Yes sir. And you know I've, I haven't been able to get away from this as we as we come to our close. Yes sir. The day is coming even for the men of God that may not necessarily think they're anointed to pray for the sick. That's right. Jesus is just going to show up and start healing people. That's right. In an unprecedented measure. Yes, sir. And I honored you when I was at your church. Yes, you did. And I want to do it today here on the air. Yes, sir. Thank you yes, sir. for being a ministry that's on a major level, a major scale. Yes, sir. That's not afraid to pray for the sick. Yes, sir. You're not afraid of the gifts and the move of the Holy Spirit. Our nation needs more leaders like you. Yes, sir. So I commend you. I honor you. I'm your brother. Yes. I stand next to you, beside you, behind you if you need me to. I'm just in your corner and I'm on your team. So thank you for the work you're doing for the body. And thank you for being here with me on TBN. Thank you for bringing me here, sir. I love, love you, you sir. I love you so much. You are a blessing. And I believe every person that's watching today, God has said something. He's done something very significant in your heart and in your life. And I cannot ever say enough how thankful I am for the ministry of TBN reaching the world, but doing it through an uncompromised word. What an amazing thing to be able to sit here today and not only talk to you about Jesus, but to pray for the sick, to release healing, to see miracles come and continue to happen in your life. So I want you to, like never before, support the ministry of TBN through your prayers, through your finances. We can't do what we do here without the precious partners and the faithful viewers just like you. I know TBN has been a blessing to you, so be a blessing in return so we can continue to impact the nations of this earth with the good news of Jesus Christ. Know that we love you. We thank God for you. We appreciate you. You're a part of our family. We're praying for you. You continue to pray for us, and together we're going to see a mighty outpouring of God's Spirit, a revival come to our world, the likes we've never seen before. Now, until I see you again, remember, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. God bless you. Until next time, bye-bye. This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world.